um, um, uh, how does frick? God dang it. Lamp. Lamp! Um, 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 um. I don't know what to do. How do I? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I? I broke my mom's car. Hey! I better find use for this lens now. This won't hold. I need some sort of adhesive. Mm. That's a battery, not a glue stick. Okay. Covered in freaking spider webs and crap. This hole leads to Flint's room. Mm. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. That's Go disgusting. in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm really? sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me, I have to pass. See, it. spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. Ew. It's a mess. All right. So, we need to now figure out what the frick to do here. Something. <laughs> I love that. It just says something. It's a decorative plaque of some sort or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. Interesting. My echo, my life is a party. My home is the club. I party like a rock star. Dance until I drop my life. Hello everyone and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be calling Single Player Saturdays. This is where I'm going to be releasing a single player game that I play and I'm going to be releasing it every week on Saturday because it just rhymes and it's cool. Why not Single Player Sunday? Because Saturday is probably a better day to upload videos than anything else. So this video will come in on Saturday but it's being recorded the other day so I can get it uh, all edited, it's being recorded uh, the day before, so normally I'm going to be playing a game like Friday or whatever, but I'm going to be playing a game that's single player, and I'm going to be releasing it at Saturday, so I'll just get like a weekly schedule going. I'll try to release this every so often, and uh, yeah, today we have a game called Bear With Me. Now, Bear With Me is a point-and-click adventure style game, and it looks like one of those old noir type movies. So, without further ado... Let's get into the date game. Sorry, Games Presents. Let me just say, this is really good. Bear with me. All that I can think about, I'm just going to be thinking about, like, the, the, the old big things. I love the animation style. I love the, the style of this game, by the way. Just look at it. Dang. Do you see that? Oh, uh-oh. Wake up. Hmm? Oh, hello. Millie, closet. Right, so, hello. Millie, my toy giraffe. I've had her since I was five years old. She seems frightened. I should talk to her. Interesting. First, let's go to the closet. Oh, private eye. To Millie. She seems frightened. Oh, private eye. Let's talk. Hello. It seems you had a nightmare. Oh. I don't really remember. Hmm. That's all right, miss. Nightmares are best forgotten. Hmm. I guess you're right. What are you doing here, Millie? I love is the voice acting. Okay? This is great. Oh, no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. Mm. I came here as soon as I could. Mm. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there. But when we arrived, I could only find you. Oh, what no. do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. Dun, dun, dun. I have to go find Flint. Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Mm. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted, I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven, and he's become a burnout. <laughs> I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. 
I want, I want okay, the bear. I like the bear. The bear is nice. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. Mm. There is something else I haven't told you about. Really? The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. Mm. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. Mm. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up, the officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city. Your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a citywide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. Yeah, I, I don't even really have to talk about anything city. right now. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, Expedition, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The mugshot boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Hmm. Bless their hearts. We mugshot arrived boys. at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. Yeah, please. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. All right. Breaking finally. It's yeah. filled with mysterious and magical things from the far corners of the Orient. Also toys and stuff. <laughs> of course, because every moment can be a comedic moment. You get that clock. Oh, that clock's kind of broken. To the closet! Uh, no! Wrong sentence to have! I mean, to the bear! Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel... Oh, yes! Got me into trouble. Oh, I love I it. Neck deep in nickels right now. <laughs> neck Something deep in nickels right stuff. now. I, I freaking knew it. Really the new Sorry, I'm just gonna... Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. Freaking love it. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm tired. For good this time. For good this time. Of course, and I'm gonna be speaking in this sort of gruff sort of tone. Fell on deaf ears again. God damn it. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her, her brother, brother, and all that jazz. jazz. And, and I'm, I'm wondering, wondering how many how times we've gone through this before. before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does, and I play hard to get. As, As I, I always do. do. Eventually, Eventually, I give in. It's so good. I love the noir. We've done this so many times. I've lost, lost count. count. I freaking love it. The voice is spot on, by she the way. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Old Her words Hill. through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head. And then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside. Oh, hypnotic manner. It's called in a way. Or is it the Oh, like the calm. smooth jazz. Oh my god. I'm sorry. They got this so good. They got it so good. I Not love it. Not much to do when you're retired. Hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me. And yet I know I'm in for it again. Mm. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Freaking A. Dude. Hi, Ted. I heard you've retired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? Uh, 
kind of your freaking business. My bedtime business. hours are none of your business, Snoop. Yeah. Besides, I told her this thing was out of your league. Oh! Out of my league? I was once shot at by a prime minister of Denmark. What? Now, if you don't mind. I want to hear that story. <laughs> oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? Yes. I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. Really? I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar. <laughs> and where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll. I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Ay, ay, ay. Days of crime fighting are over. Crime that fighting? Dude, you're in a new R movie. You know you're going to get dragged into this. You... You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? Yes. A little bit. How was it? Good. It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I <laughs> threw that in for dramatic effect. Of course. It wasn't in the original draft, though. Eh. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Yes, it does. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, do we, do really, we have... really have to do this whole do? bit again? Please. Fine. This is dragging on for way too long, and it's past my office hour. What's this nonsense all about, anyway? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like, all sorts of bad things. And there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route. But I think that's been closed off, too. They? No. No. Uh, I don't know, man. God damn it. Freaking. Um, yeah, Millie and the Paper City cantaloupe enthusiasts. They all need a place to eat their cantaloupes and such. Well, they are delicious. Rich in vitamin C and A. But Educational. A eating cantaloupes? Wait, are you making this up? No. Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. Oh, yeah. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. Really? But I want to hear that story, too. An undercover cop? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. Mm. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. This is he very exposition about maybe. you. What's so interesting about you? But I don't want to skip it because it's really hey, good. So I'll I'm have just gonna you add know, my own commentary There are a lot of people out occasion. there who find me interesting. Yeah. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. I love the, the noir style of Whoa this. Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. Yeah. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. What? Your hat? Your hat? No. I'm phasing that one out. What? Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. Your magnifier? I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. What the frick? Sneakers, mask, blah, blah, blah. So, what? I need to freaking. I'm confused now. Alright. So, magnifier. Yes, yes, drawers. What will they think of next? Hardy hearts, the best thing since sliced bread. Freaking go over there. That's not. Mm. 
Oh, um, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Mm. Mm. Now, how does one freaking... Okay. Broken magnifier. Swiss Army knife. Ooh, I have a Swiss Army knife. Nice. All right. Um, okay. Books, clock, paintings, pillow, bed. How does one fix stuff? Can I go? Miss, don't go wandering around alone. Ugh, fine. All right. Chest, no. Cardboard, case. All right, fine. We can open that then. So you like a... Ooh, battery. Yoinkity. Pick it up. Yes. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Be prepared. Uh, nope, that's bed. Radio paintings. Clock. Window. Yes, no. Oh. Oh, glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to take, take the glasses and use one of the lenses for the things, right? I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you take the glasses. Take the glasses and... Do what with it? Frickin... I can't use that. God dang it! You put the, this there. Come on. What the? Um, um, uh, how does... Frick! God dang it. Lamp. Lamp! Um, 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 um. I don't know what to do. How do I... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I... I broke my mom's car. Hey! I better find use for this lens now. This won't hold. I need some sort of adhesive. Hmm. That's a battery, not a glue stick. Okay. Uh, uh, adhesive, adhesive. Be funny if I used last night to suffer as it. Radio, paintings, no, no, no. I need, like, a glue stick. Very glue stick, anywhere. Books. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. Oh, what's this? Folium cadent. When was no. the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right, I didn't. It's really hanging in there. Mm. And it's gone. Ugh. Okay. So what, 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 what? Cardboard. Cardboard box. No. Frickin'. Uh, no. God dang it. Gotta be something. There's gotta be something. Where is colored pencils? The tools I use to transfer my genius onto paper. Aye, aye, aye. Not what I needed to hear. Um. Um, there's gotta be something. How do I, do I just... I can't use that. Yeah, yeah, That's a battery. Frick. Uh, is there a glue stick? I need, like, a glue stick or something. There we go. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. Yes, it is. So you glue that. There we go. Now I just need a lens. Yes, and then bada boom. Voila, a perfect crime. Ted will never know. <laughs> hey, Ted. Found my magnifier yet? Yes. Nope, not yet. Do you really need my help? Okay. Shut your mouth. I have it. Well, that's not my magnifier. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? Hmm. No, this is my magnifier with the lens missing, which I'm sure you broke recently. God dang it, of course. You replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids' glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, you totally. Did. Never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. All right. Now I have the the teddy bear, the gruff teddy bear. All right, let's go, Ted. 
on an adventure. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. Mm. It'd be funny if I just like cut it off there. And what in the what the what is that? That's just it's just weird. Thank you. Yep, it's weird. Okay. Right. To Flint's room. Oh wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, Doc. Mm. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. Mm. Alright. In the, in the study hall? That's the bathroom, that's the box, that's the attic door. Alright, I guess you're going this way. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I guess let's talk to this guy. Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. Mm. He's pretending he's retired. Yay, pretend. Takes a lot out of him, apparently. Apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. Mm. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. What? Huh? We've heard rumors about some red man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's yeah. the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. Mm -hmm. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. Mm -hmm. He goes up to the thugs first, gathers information and such. Mm -hmm. No one thought nothing of it. Couple of beaten up low lobs here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Mm -hmm. Then the fire started. Mm -hmm. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse. Got a corner of this bird. No one heard from him since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going stock? around asking about really? You know anything about this, doll? Uh, that's an Anyone achievement. Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Ha! Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Who's getting smart now? So... What kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he all right? He's fine. He's just sleepy, sleepy and, and grumpy. grumpy. And, like, totally not drunk. Har har. I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. Uh... Yellow King? Who the frick you is the Yellow King? about the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open. Like, open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Um, We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. Been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement level. The official Ooh, statement is. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh... How do you escape? I use the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. Mm. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. Okay. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? Mm. I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. Mm -hmm. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. Mr. Deeds is a straight-up bird. Mm. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. He hadn't got a little ear buzz, is all. Mm. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee. And poor old Millie. We hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. 
Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Uh, um, what? He's saying he can do it. Alright. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. Damn it. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. All Bye, right. little miss. Don't worry about your brother. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's all right. Cool. Anyway, to the study. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover record 30 minutes of this thing because it is seriously a lot of long stuff. And I'm going to skip over most of, like, the point and click stuff because there's a hole in the wall here. Let's investigate. Covering freaking spider webs and crap. This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. That's Go disgusting. in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm yeah. sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me, I have to pass. See, it. spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. Ew. It's a mess. All right. So, we need to now figure out what the frick to do here. Something. <laughs> I love that. It just says something. It's a decorative plaque of some sort, or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. Interesting. So, lamp, um, glass, cigar box, no, books, 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 uh, Anubis statue, lamp, uh, ooh, let me take that, pick it up. The frickin'. There's a number written underneath, 107. What does it mean? Ten sevens, the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. All right. Uh, no. Lamp. Uh, I'm so sorry, but ooh, ooh, do the thing, do do the thing. Is it like? Uh... Let's take this bad boy for a spin. Do it. Around the world. Okay. Painting, lamp. Uh, why do they call them all lamps instead of like, whatever. Uh, I've always loved this painting. It looks familiar in a way. I feel like I've been there before. <laughs> yeah, how come you're not in it? Good question. But... What am I looking for? There's a number 107. Oh. Hey, a flashlight. But there are no batteries inside. We found some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. Luckily, I have... This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. I are kidding me. Uh... Key. We'll have to find another way. Damn it. He's way too out of reach. Uh, cigar box? No. 107. What the frick? Uh, lamp? Um. Nope. Mm. Mm. Lex in Iusta non es Lex? Bunny made up words. Although they have a certain righteous ring to them. Is that Italian? Right. Um. Usually requires two or more of them. Are you kidding me? Uh. uh okay. Frick. All right. I need a battery. What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. Okay. Jump scare. 
Cool. All right, it's about time to call it. No, and I'm going to call it here. 28 minutes. Seems okay. Anyway, guys, this is the first episode of Single Player Saturday, where I'm going to be playing a single player game. Um, and I'm going to be uploading it every week on Saturday, and I'm just going to record a couple. Se uh, I'm just going to record one big session of this, and then I'm going to upload it. Uh, stuff. So I'm going to record one big session of this. So this first session is going to be this part one, and then possibly next week's part two, and then if if I have enough footage, next week's part three. Uh, so yeah, the first three weeks of this will be one big long session, and then I'll continue it from that point after those three weeks, because normally I tend to play a game for a really long time before I actually end up just not doing it. So I'm just going to get one big session, get three episodes made, and after those three episodes, the next three, uh, the next weeks or so, I'll record uh, 30 minutes of it per, so this way, like, you can go with me per the, the week. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this first episode of Bear With Me, and we'll see you next week on Single Player Saturday, or Single Player Weekend, or whatever I do. Single Player Saturday, Single Player Sunday, whatever the frick I decide to upload this video. Probably gonna be the weekend, because I really want to just get these videos out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and a peace off.